<laughs> oh man, I just coughed a lot. Yeah. What is up, my loaf enthusiasts? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video today. Oh yes, 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 yes. All right. So I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sounding really hype about this, but oh my gosh! Thank you, Team Dokkaner. So. If you don't know what just happened, I'm pretty sure if you saw the truth, everybody else who's covered this already, even Energetics has covered this, I'm gonna do my version of it. Because I'm fun! And that's how I do that. Okay. Anyway, guys. So basically, what's, what's going on is that, like, Team Dokkaner just posted something recently on their Twitter feed, and uh, the Twitter. The tweet will be in the link in the description below if you want to check it out yourself, and also every every, every other information I'm going to be showing you, um, especially from the subreddit. Um, Team Dokoner showed off this bad boy here. This is everything we know about right now about Premium Vegeta Multiform. That's basically the transforming Vegeta. We're getting a brand new Super Vegeta. We're also getting easy A's! Oh, yes! You know your boy loves easy A's because I love 33 stones. <laughs> so, basically what's going on is that the trunks, the future trunks and the future Vegeta blue card, the support units, are getting easy A's. And this is really good because um, uh, these guys are the only, uh, I believe they were the only... Uh, future uh future support units on that team to begin with so the fact that they're getting their the future team is getting a huge buff um for the uh supports it's amazing i think time travelers too i don't know because i don't use the teams i don't know too well so i never like try to flim around with that team but that's what i've heard and that's what i know about so far this is obviously not translating the english but we have right here is the the transmission translation from Zivari 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 yeah I'm gonna you know I'm gonna get my upload my boy and we're gonna get that upload as well he basically translated what uh Team Dokener said on their tweet so the brand new transfer Vegeta is the pure Saiyans category key plus three attack HP and defense 150% or super ally key class uh, super ally class allies key plus three HP attack and defense a hundred percent so Not the 120 we were expecting and I was not I was kind of expecting pure Saiyans, but At least we have a confirmation is an other pure Saiyans team and I've already seen people talking shit on this Already I'm saying like this is gonna be a bad unit and stuff. Okay boys and girls listen to this this guy, he literally is going to be an amazing unit. The reason why is because the other pure Saiyan um, leader is a blue Vegeta. This guy is a Super Saiyan Vegeta, so you can actually run them both. On to the addition of that, the team itself is extremely large. Let me just say this right now. It's the most, I have the tab here, right here. It is the one of the largest teams in Dokkan. You cannot say that like, oh, getting an other leader when we don't have a really other well thought, well leader besides the extreme Broly, but that's just 120%. While Vegeta himself over here, uh, he's only 170 on HP and defense and attack is 130. We're getting 150 throughout the board. This is going to be good, <clears throat> especially if you want to have a hard-hitting Spear Saiyans team and everybody have an equal playing ground. That's absolutely amazing. You cannot say that's not good. Not to mention, the, the teams on here is absolutely crazy. We have all the LRs, the brand new LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta. We have the Prime Battle, which many people are farming up as well right now. We have the blue Goku, the Co Goku. You have blue Vegeta. You could run him now on the team because you couldn't run him before because of this Vegeta. There's endless possibilities here. Like the brand new, like, EZA Kid Goku, the Paragus, 
the uh, Kid Goku right here. Oh, uh, wait, Kid Goku GT, Kid Goku in general. I, 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 and even the Goku. Guys, this team is extremely large and it's free to play friendly as well. You cannot say there's not any free to play units here. There's a bunch of them here. You can make a pure Saiyan free to, free to play team off of this. This event. This whole celebration that can happen for same day, it's gonna be amazing and I knew it and I am so hyped and so happy about it. This is gonna be epic. And you can't say, you can't go wrong. You really cannot go wrong with this team. Also, his stats, um, lower end first trans, first form, uh, his attack will be, attack and defense will be 80% and attack plus 6% per key orb. That's not bad. That's actually really good. And then, um, as you see, like, we don't know what the rest of the transformation do, but I'm guessing when he gets to blue, because he is a Super Saiyan Super Vegeta, uh, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, uh, 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 God Vegeta, and then also Blue Vegeta. I was thinking, like, he did not going 3 and 4, right? No, it is not. This is canon we're talking about here. But, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, we don't know what's going to be in between. Probably going to be the same thing. Who knows? It's probably going to be increasing every time. But this is the biggest thing. Attack and defense plus 120%. And attack plus 10% per key orb. And changes every key orb on the board to physical essentially only once essentially this guy's almost like a nuke unit are you kidding me no matter what he's changing every single key on the board to physical that's absolutely crazy and amazing you cannot say that's not good you absolutely cannot say he's gonna be hitting hard and he's gonna be hitting extremely fucking crazy because of the attack and defense plus 20% and additional key plus 10 per orb and every key orb is going to be physical he was meant to do that now we don't know if he's going to have an after skill or not um, I don't think he ever said anything about it there is no after skill mentioned I don't know um, if he doesn't that's fine if he does cool he's actually going to be better than the after transforming Goku all right, and then also we got a brand new Super Vegeta, which we, the last Super Vegeta we have, let me actually pull him up right here. Uh, where is he? I know he's right, he has to be, there he is, he's Super Angel. I was thinking, no, he's not extreme. Um, this is the last one we have, and he's actually a good support unit as well. Uh, weakness regeneration, oh, geez. Anyway, but he does give two key plus attack and defense plus 25% for AGL, SDR, and physical. He's a pretty god. He was. He's, he's pretty good. Decent, I will say. Decent. Um. Um. What do you call it? Support unit. But the fact we're getting a brand new Super Vegeta. He's intelligence key plus three. Attacking eight. Attacking with an HP plus ninety percent. That goes for Super Battle Road. And his his passive is attack and defense plus eighty percent. Plus an additional attack and defense plus one hundred twenty percent, depending on HP remaining. The higher the HP, the better the booze. Guaranteed critical hit if it's an Android category enemy present. Now, that's kind of a big gimmicky because of the fact that the he needs to actually have an Android category an Android category unit present to hit the crit. But when he does, yeah, he's going to be hitting a lot hard. A really hard. And this seems like he's going to be a really good... Super Vegeta, the one, one we've been waiting for for a long, long time. And I'm very excited about that. Also, Super Saiyan Fu Trunks Future and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta are both getting easy A's. Now, absolutely amazing because, I, as I said before, I think these were the only support time units in Dokkan as of, uh, for the uh, Future and Time Travels category. So the original stuff was obviously like all attack, all, uh, all type att HP attack and defense plus 24 percent. <laughs> no, cause supreme damage allies uh, attack 
plus 20% for one round, and attack and defense plus 70% when facing one facing only one enemy. I can't talk. I'm so hyped. And it's his stats, you know, were okay, but you know he was only good at support. Also, this guy, very good support. Has his passive attack and defense plus 25% for all allies. That's really good. And he causes supreme damage allies. Uh, to cause the supreme damage allies attack plus 20% for one turn after he does super attack. Now, from all his new stuff, supposedly what's going to be happening here, if I can get it up. Um, he plus, this is the super saiyan trunk. He plus two, attack and defense plus 30%, so 20, 25% more. Then we're talking about 25%. We're talking about 25%. 5% more than original. That's good. To all allies, attack and defense plus 70% if two or more Vegeta lineage category allies are present. Since he counts as Vegeta lineage, you just need one more. Is attack and defense plus 70% that is amazing like and that's only by the way that's only for himself when I I, I had the same reaction when Trent did it he, he thought that was for everybody that would have given I, I, I almost got a heart attack too from just looking at that that's already an amazing stat boost for himself that's going to be for him now Vegeta passes he plus two attack and defense plus 90%. All right. Attack and defense plus 30% for all allies if two or more Vegeta lineage category allies are present. Again, he is going to be hitting hard as well. Not as hard as this, but he's still going to be hitting hard and he actually is getting uh, uh, he plus two attack and defense plus 90%. Compare to what he was doing before where attacking even plus 90% when facing one facing only one enemy we, you'd rather have Vegeta lineage on there <laughs> I'm telling you guys this is hype the fact we're getting two easy A's I have both units by the way so I'm definitely going to be easy A'ing them and <clears throat> the fact that these units right here easy A's 33 stone plus two brand new units we know about this is gonna be an amazing celebration for both global and jp i do have to say this right now if you are saving if you're a free-to-play player saving especially on global saving for the fourth fourth year anniversary i do recommend going for this i highly recommend because this vegeta he's gonna be useful on the team, especially if you pull Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, or even if you pull both both of them, you have this guy, you could run both of these LRs on the team. You're, we're talking about madness and Turtles too. Vegeta can't even have Turtles on his team. You're telling me that all of this. It's not worth it. You're crazy. Oh my gosh, I am so hyped. <laughs> I, I, I'm ready for this. I'm, I'm gonna put my stones into it for certain. Um, we don't know what the other characters are gonna be. Hopefully there'll be something good. Hell, if even Turtles is back on the banner, you know people are gonna summon for Turtles. We don't know what else is gonna be on the banner. We don't know. Hopefully, whatever's on the banner, I don't have to use my red coins because I am saving it for an ADL Metal Cooler. But other than that, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this digest of what's going on and what's going to be happening on Saiyan's Day. I am super hyped. I am ready to pour my stones into this. Definitely, this is an event I've been waiting for. I'm, 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 hyped. I'm happy. I'm hyped. I can't wait for this to happen. But anyway, guys, I hope you, hope you have a wonderful day. I'm your host, Sir Love for Bread. And if you did enjoy today's video, hit that like button. And also hit that subscribe button as well. 
If you want to join the low farming today and keep up with all the news, Dokkan news, anything Dokkan related, even video game related as well, because we are doing everything on this channel. Anyway, guys, that's it for today, and I'll see you guys soon on the next video. Stay toasty, everybody. Sayonara.